Welcome. It's time now to take a look at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 24th of July, as we go into that last full week. We've got some big data coming out. Warren Venkat has joined us now from our South African newsroom down in Johannesburg. Warren, what do you got for us for next week? Hello, Jeremy, and thanks for having me. So the risk event that I'll be focused on for next week centers around both the Federal Reserve and ECB rate decisions, respectively. And naturally, I'll be looking at the euro-dollar currency pair. Just a bit of background leading up to the relative announcements. The euro has rallied quite significantly over the past month against the greenback, and that's mostly due to softening inflation in the U.S. as well as a slight reprieve in the robust labor market that we've become so accustomed to. In conjunction with that, um, eurozone inflation has remained sticky or persistent as well as ECB officials uh, retaining their very hawkish or aggressive narrative. But since then, uh, things have slightly softened with um, many ECB governing council members actually stating that they're not too sure whether the Eurozone can withstand further monetary policy tightening post next week's um, release. Um, so a bit of concern there. I think that's been driven mostly by other economic data, particularly on the manufacturing and industrial production front. Um, on the US side of things, just yesterday, we saw initial jobless claims again reiterate a very tight labor market. So since then, US Treasury yields have spiked and um, US dollar has naturally garnered some support. Money market pricing for next week uh, almost certainly prices in the 25 basis point rate hike for both central banks. So what I'll be focused on is forward guidance um, from the two and any potential clues to uh, possible changes from the current uh, economic situation and data that's been presented to us. From a technical analysis standpoint, we have the euro dollar chart on screen and we can see that uh, significant rally that I mentioned uh, throughout July, almost touching the 113 resistance handle and subsequently has um, pulled back lower. And that since uh, that has stemmed since that long upper wick candle we've seen a few trading sessions ago, breaking through the 111.85 swing handle. Um, I do think uh, we'll reach that 111 or 110.96 uh, support handle before the central bank announcements. And I do think there's scope for a push lower towards a 110 uh, support zone. So a lot to look forward to next week, but in summary, we're looking at a bearish outlook ahead of next week's central bank announcements. Yeah, targeting 110 on euro dollar. Warren, thanks so much indeed. That's a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 24th of July. <laughs>